right, what is up YouTube? It's your boy PJ Boosted back at you with another video. Today we got a Soul Survivor, which is an 86 Grand National that hasn't seen daylight in over 20 years. We're gonna give you a whole little walk around of the car. I'm gonna give you a whole review on it. It's running and driving, and like I said, it's been sitting in a barn. Uh, I got this car out of Pennsylvania. Uh, we picked it up probably about three, four weeks ago. Uh, we got it back here, uh, wasn't running. We did a whole new fuel system, new gas tank, uh, new sending unit, new injectors, new fuel filter, uh, new regulator. So we went through the entire fuel system, flushed out all the all the uh, fluids, and boom, we got it to fire, brought her back to life. As you can see, it's got some old school center lines straight out of the 90s. It's got all original paint. Uh, it's got some severe paint fade. Someone took the emblems off of it. But if you know Grand Nationals, you can really appreciate it for what it is. Uh, this is a time capsule. Like I said, it's got so much potential. It's an 86 with T-tops, which makes it extra rare. They made under 6,000 Grand Nationals in 86. Uh, most of the ones you see are the 87s. They did over 20,000 production, but this car is a little bit more special to me. I personally own an 86, so it was really cool to get another one, especially with T-tops. Uh, Chase, you come check it out. We'll, get, we'll show you guys a little bit under the hood of what's going on here. Um, the car is up for sale right now. Uh, I had, actually, we were thinking about keeping it and maybe doing a full restoration, but we kind of don't see that being in our future and in our time, time frame of how busy we are. But uh, like I said, everything is untouched, un, all stock, all original. Stock turbo, stock air box, uh, nothing on this car has been touched. Even the alternator, everything's stock. Um, so, you know, stock power brake unit, which is a little sketchy. We are driving the car right now. Um, tires are like 15, 20 years old as well, uh, but we're not going too far, so we'll be all right. And like I said, man, it's, it's super clean. I'll try to get another segment of this car under the rack. You are going to be amazed. When I looked under this car, I was absolutely blown away on how rust-free and clean this car is. There's not one spot of rust on this entire car. Uh, that's another reason I was just, you know, kind of in awe about the car. Uh, most of the times you see these cars, they rust over by the quarter. Uh, the rockers are always rusted. Especially on a T-top car, it's super common for them to rust out and you know, for water to come through the T-tops, hit the floor and rust out the floor pans. This car is super clean. Like I said, we'll, we'll do the rack, we'll rack the car up and we'll film the whole undercarriage. I've seen cars with 20,000 miles or less that are not even as clean as the undercarriage of this one. So basically we'll uh, come over here now, we'll shoot the inside. And this is probably my favorite part of the car. Everyone knows the iconic, you know, two-tone uh, black and um, gray interior of these cars. Super iconic. This car has concert sound, power seat, so it's got a few little nice options. Um, go ahead and check it out. But, you know, another really nice thing about, you know, this interior is how clean it is. Most of the times you see these cars, they got rips in the seat, um, burn holes. They're faded from, you know, sitting out in the sun. I mean, that's not the case in this car. I mean, this, these seats just, when I opened the interior and saw that, you know, the pleating is still in perfect tact, the seats are not ripped, the carpet's in good shape, the center console's not ripped, the dash isn't cracked, the steering wheel's crisp, I was like, wow. Now, I don't know exactly how many miles are on this car. Uh, I do know that it's got a 145 mile an hour dash. Someone did change the dash cluster out. Right now it reads 1800. I know that's not true, but um, basically, you know, there's no way to really tell. When someone changes the dash out on these cars, you're kind of screwed because you don't know exactly what miles. Based on the Carfax, the last reported miles was 80,000. Um, so like I said, I mean, whoever had it, for the short time they drove it, they took great care of this car. It just has been sitting. You can see right here, it's got all the factory door tags. Uh, like I said, they're still in really good shape. Rust-free on all the door jams. We'll go ahead and get the keys. I'll pop the trunk, show you guys the uh, spid label. Show you guys it is a real Grand National. I mean, you can just see how clean this underneath of this deck lid is. I mean, super clean. You see right here, WE2 Grand National option code. It's got a positive rear end, like I said, power seat, a few other options. Um, still got the factory spare back here. Got the factory mat, a few other stock parts that came with it. But like I said, no, no rust on this car. I mean, super, super clean. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys checking it out and watching the walk around. We're going to go ahead and uh, we got a train coming, so we're going to cut this short. We're going to go drive this. We're about five minutes away. We're going to go run through the wash and uh, see what happens. Let's go. What's up, guys? Uh, we're here back in the Survivor GN. We're about to take it to the car wash. This car has been washed in over 20 years. So uh, this should be exciting. And we're taking it through the uh, express 
self, you know, brush wash. So we're gonna see, uh, hopefully we don't get soaked. We're gonna see if these T-tops leak, put them to the test. Yeah, these brakes are super, super soft. Luckily the car wash is only like half a mile away, so we'll be all right. We got bad wheel bearing noise over here. Shocks are completely blown out. We're scraping in the back. Like I said, this car needs some, it needs, it needs a restoration, but like I said, it's all original, so someone can appreciate it for what it is. Um, and it's rust free, so there's a plus. Ogden Avenue is always crazy busy. All right, here we go. If you hold it still, you can do a little boost hit. Yeah, mass airflow shot. I knew that was coming. I cannot see anything out of this windshield. Let's see if our wipers work. Oh. Okay, they work. Turn signals work, headlights work. Let's see if the power seat works. Power seat works. Power windows work. Door locks? Door locks don't work. Good thing the power windows work because we're going to have to roll these up when we go through the wash. Chase is buying us a car wash. Thanks, Chase. Yup. You're, you're a good friend. I forgot my wallet back at the shop, so we're going to get the most expensive wash we can and see what it does to this baby. Yeah, I do not feel safe driving this thing right now, but... I'm scared shitless. <laughs> He's scared. Chase is scared. This is like his second time in a Grand National, and this is not what I, uh... Probably not what you expected, right? No, definitely not. Feel like being in the other one a little better? Oh, my God. Oh, these shocks are so bad. We're rubbing. We're almost there. We're pulling it right now. Hopefully my left turn signal works. All right, car wash is open, that's good. All right, here we go. Plus we decided to take this thing out at like five o'clock rush hour. Probably wasn't the best move, but I had to work all day. All right, we made it. At the car wash. I don't have a membership. All right, so we're getting the lava extreme wash, 13 bucks. That's good enough. We don't need no lava shield. No upgrades. Damn, Chase. Got the Apple card. Fancy. Uh-oh. We broke it. These have been just pain in the ass all day, I'm gonna be honest with you. This car hasn't been washed in 20 years. You're lying. Not lying. You're on YouTube. Say hey, what's up. <laughs> well, at least it's gonna get a good wash now. Yeah, right? I don't know, maybe it's because the, it's the card. No, the card should work. It should work in the reader. Yeah. It's metal. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Hold on, you get a free wash code too. Oh, do I? Yeah, so this one's good for like five days. All right, and maybe I'll... It expires at the same time, Oh, it's only okay? good for five days? Yeah. I'm probably not going to wash it for another 20 or years. Or just give it to somebody you know or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. All right, here we go, dude. Oh, God. I've been wanting to wash this thing so bad, but I think this would be fun. All right, we're in neutral. The guy's like... Like you're crazy, dude. Like we got. I'm. I'm putting my GoPro hair. under the seat so we don't. In case it just starts pouring water in here. Hey, watch it not leak at all. I'm scared for if it does leak. It's got gas. Half tank. You filming this?
All right, guys, so far, so good. So far, no leaks. It's getting soaped down right now. I think when it, the power washers come on, we might be screwed, but I don't know, man. Oh, no. Oh, little, no. A little bit of soap. That's nothing, though. We're good. This side's not leaking. Oh, my God. Is it coming over there? Put your hand at the end of the window. My side's not leaking. Put it mine. Oh yeah, it's a little bad. Yeah, you're gonna get wet, Chase. Chase is gonna get soaked. <laughs> oh man. All right, here comes the power washers. Oh, it's leaking. This window's leaking. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Honestly? No. Not bad. I thought it was bad. Okay, so basically my side did not leak at all. We didn't leak one drop over here. His side leaked in the corner of the window and then in the back, but not bad. The T-tops themselves did not leak. So I give this car an A plus. Runs and drives, rust free. We'll wait till the dryers go. I'm telling you, these, these, this car wash has some really aggressive dryers. All right, we survived. All right, so basically what I was saying is that my side didn't leak at all. His um, r basically window seal leaked a little bit, uh, but the T-tops themselves didn't leak at all. So A plus, we got a car here that runs and drives, super clean interior, rust free, and the T-tops don't leak. What more can you ask for out of a Grand Ash? Put some shock, shocks on this, do some suspension work, and we're good to go. We'll get it back to the shop. We're losing daylight. We were gonna try to see how clean it actually got, but probably won't be able to today. We'll have to save it for tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to, uh, Subscribe down below, comment, like, and uh, we appreciate you. We'll see you at our next video. Peace out. Say something stupid. What? Say something, Do something stupid. Say something stupid. I like Buicks.